traffic incident that we first told you about at the top of this hour. Again, southbound 99, a major issue because of a big rig. And one lane has reopened, but the backup is still very big. So Dave Grasshoff is on the road in our Rover Mobile 13 unit. Dave, good morning. What can you tell us? Good, good morning, Dina. Here's what we do know. This happened about 3 a.m. this morning, southbound direction 99, right by Dillard Road. Two people are actually transported to the hospital. I believe it was a big rig that came tangled up with uh, an SUV, and so the big rig jackknifed. It's in a bad location, too, as you're going to see uh, by my shot right here coming up, because uh, I'm approaching where the big rig actually crashed. Emergency crews and tow trucks couldn't actually get to the big rig, so the road was blocked, traffic starts to back up, and then you have emergency crews who have no shoulder to drive on or tow trucks to drive on, so it really created a lot of backup in the area. So it's backed up uh, three or four miles. I just uh, looped on and came back on Grant Line, which is three miles from this accident, and it's been slow and go. Actually, I was just talking to a lady because we're both stuck in traffic, and she had her window rolled down. She was listening to some Motown music. And I said, uh, where are you heading to? She says, I'm trying to get to Galt. I'm a nurse. This is frustrating. Just trying to make the best of it. So she was cranking her Motown. So that's all you can do, really. It is slow and go on the southbound direction. 99 heading towards Dillard. Last time I drove by about 45 minutes ago, they had the tow trucks on scene. And they were trying to get that big rig out of the roadway. So you can get through but it's just narrowed down to one lane right now. Dina? All right, Dave, and yeah, we can certainly see that there is no shoulder in that particular stretch of road. Thank you for that live look there. Good perspective. Also want to show you on the map where this is, and so Dave mentioned that because there wasn't a shoulder earlier, they actually had to shut down the entire road. Again, this is between Elk Grove and Galt on 99. Now we want to go back out to Dan Mitchinson. He has been at the scene of that crash for several hours, and he has the latest from where the actual crash happened this morning. Well, good morning. We're still down to one lane of traffic right here between Grant Line and Dillard Road. It's been this way since about 520 this morning when this jackknife overturned. And you can see the, the skid marks on the row right here going all across to the second lane uh, behind us. And they're towing the cab, or at least trying to right now. It looks like it's going to take a little while. They've got two tow trucks out here. They removed the gas tank about uh, 45 minutes or so ago. Uh, we haven't seen the other car that was involved in this accident, but the lead investigator tells me that both people were taken to a local hospital. They are expected to be okay. This happened at about 3 o'clock when that jackknife overturned, traveling on this section of road southbound 99. Uh, and from that point on till about 5, 5.30 or so, both lanes were closed down. Investigators are still on scene. Traffic's been moving relatively slow, five miles an hour or so, but at least they've got this one lane open. Still backed up for a good mile or so. We don't know how much longer it'll be down to one lane in this section, but the CHP says make sure you allow extra time. Make sure you go very slowly, too. We've got a lot of looky-loos now northbound, whereas we didn't have that earlier this morning, but everybody's stopping or slowing down at least to see what's going on. So that's the latest from out here. We'll toss it back to you.